about fire right now. So I've got um, the big fire tank being delivered. That guy should be here any second. In fact, I hear a truck come in. It might even be him. Um, I did have the fire department come in. And they passed the fire sprinklers. So these are all passed. I got a few more things to do. I need to actually hook these up um, to a water supply line. And I need to, they're going to need to verify the static pressure once it's hooked up to the main line. We backfed it with a hose to pressurize everything. But the next big thing is I need to have a all weather accessible road for fire trucks. Um, I think they would have let me go with this DG, but it was, it was a little questionable. Um, and also when it was wet, this was getting really sloppy. So I had graveled this before, but I added a bunch of gravel and, um, I finished cutting out the area for the fire tank over here. So, um, I'll show you that really quick. This is 150 feet from the building. That's the max. And it has to be 10 feet from the road. So I'm considering this to be the road here. So the hookup is gonna be really like within five. Um, so this is all cut out and leveled. I wanted to put it back that way so it's not kind of protruding into the driveway slash road. Um, and I also had to level it and then I had to put a bed of gravel down. This is going to be 5,000 gallons full of water. I don't know how much that weighs, but it's going to be heavy. Um, so all this is leveled now um, with a laser level. And I've got um, my water connection ready to go here. And I've also got, you know, potentially, it's really going to be fed by this inch and a half. That's right off the main. But eventually, I'd like to repurpose this fire tank as a partial um, well water storage tank. So there's a percentage of the tank I'd be allowed to use for well water. I think my minimum for that garage was 3,500 gallons um, and it's 5,000 gallon tank. So that would mean I could use 1,500 gallons for well water, which would mean I'd have to make an attachment at the upper 1,500. Um, but for that reason, I've run that one inch line because I'm hoping to you know put in a well down there and run the one inch to the well and then have basically this be well water filling the top of the tank and then have a booster pump back feed that inch and a half line to you know provide water to everything everything from way down there to all the way over here um so i'm trying to kind of think ahead and i've got the 240 volt 50 amp outlet close by so that would power the booster pump um and additionally, if I can't get my flow right there, because they did a, you know, an engineering calculation on how many PSI I would have, and I was supposed to have a 112, and I measured like 100. So if I can't um, get a little bit more pressure by the time I hook up the actual main rather than the water hose, they'll make me put in a booster pump anyway. And this would be a real easy spot to do the booster pump since the main is there and the power is there and it's out of the way. Um, so it's a little um, tricky, but this is going to be a, a water tank. This guy's running a little bit late, but um, as soon as that shows up, I'll, I'll get a video of that. All right, here's the crew. They brought the big tank. Shouldn't be too bad. Had bigger trucks in here. Pretty good, he's just gotta keep some momentum. The gravel's loose there. Yeah, we're gold. Alright, I'm gonna shoot up there and meet him. Alright, there we are. There's the big one. So that's pretty close to where it's gonna go. I'm gonna go jump in the gray doll and get ready to move it. 
Here's the weapon of choice today. So we, that's what we need. Being that if it's close up, you can lift 10,000 pounds. I don't know what that water tank weighs. I'm sure much less than that. Maybe a thousand or something. So here we go. gauge facing like your truck, spin it. As far back as we could go. Okay. Let me look real quick. I kind of want it like right up against the bank if I can. Oh, okay. Because that way, well, I mean, I guess a little space is all right. I'm kind of trying to hide it behind the tree. Oh, nice. But but it's a little okay. less wide than I remember. It looks, it looks, it's oh, yeah, fine. It's the yeah, that's going to be right where we want it. The only thing is, I see what you mean. Yeah. I think, I think maybe just a little, let's rotate a little that way. Okay. Right there? Because, right, I mean, they could see that. I think that'd be fair. If yeah. I have to trim the tree a little, I'll trim it. Really have to see it, I guess. But yeah. yeah, but I want to, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. wherever it's set is where it's going to stay. And this would be cool. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure this Here's is the good. Point, That's the big one. Yeah. And I'm going to go maybe just, maybe just a little closer to yeah, the yeah, bank. Right. You ready? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And that puts me right in the ballpark of the fill. Yeah. So yeah, that should be cool.
All right, so there goes the crew. So let me point out a couple things here. One, um, this is the main fire connection here. That's why it's it's four inch. It's, it's huge. Um, so this is going to thread directly onto the tank, which is welded with the correct bung, like the right thread. And then this is going to thread into here. And this right here is the standard fire connection. Really the same as a, as a fire hydrant. And so this is... This tank basically serves the purpose of a fire hydrant with 5,000 gallons. So their their truck is going to hook up to that, and they'll run, you know, potentially that's why they say within 150 feet of the building, they'll run their truck pump to suction from here and discharge at the hose, spraying the hose at a fire over here or a fire over here, whatever. The whole problem is that the fire hydrant for me is 1300 feet away it's right it's literally right on that main road right in actually in front of this house right here kind of like just to the right of it if it was under 1200 i wouldn't have to do this but because it was 1300 um i need basically this 5,000 gallons uh storage tank um really i needed i think 3500 but that's not a standard size so 5000 it is now they're going to be able to pull through here and they'll be able to take a look and they're going to see the um float or the or the indicator and i may trim this tree back a little bit so they can see it a little bit better and then probably after they're gone i'm going to let this tree grow as much to cover the tank up it's not an unattractive tank but it's a it's a big metal tank um and then um, that water line is going to, I'm going to bring it a little closer. I'll probably dig a little bit more. I'll bring that water line a little closer and pop it up here. Cause you know, I actually thought that this tank was 12 feet in diameter, but it really seems like it's 10. So I was expecting to be out here a little bit more and I didn't want to have it even too close for right now. So I'm going to trench, run the one inch, put a 90, shoot the 90 up, go through the feed. And then that's going to go to this float valve. So it will fill like a toilet until, you know, a, pr a pre-adjusted level by this wing nut. And then when this raises up, boom, it shuts the valve. Um, and this is really basic. It'll probably fail. So if I do integrate the well water, I'm going to change it over to an electronic sensor that uh, electrically kicks the pump off. And so that's pretty much... Um, the deal, I know they're going to look for this to be um, accessible by the road, um, although, man, you'd think that they would, uh, if you think about it, you'd think that that thing would be more in line with the gauge, because they'd sort of want to see both, but it's a little, little bit funky, but at least this way they can get to that and they can still see the gauge, otherwise if they have this out here, the gauge is totally not even viewable. Um, and then they're also going to look for uh, this plate so they can fit back here. I made minimal amount of space back here. I'll come and put a little bit more gravel, but they're going to need to see, um, this manufacturing, uh, plate. I'm going to talk about galvanized steel and what gauge and, um, and whatnot. So again, it's from, um, Tiger Tanks and, you know, it looks like I got to grab some plugs for some of these things I'll have to measure them and so um pretty good got a lot of trenching and stuff to do but i don't think i'm going to put that in this video i'm not sure i'm going to do it today i may or may not and so there you go fire tank installed